Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I want to talk about first scan flag today. So first scan flag can be used to initialize value after the system is upset. For example, if there's power loss and you have to assign a set point to your tag on the PLC program, first scan flag is what you use to do that initialization. Let me start off with uh, demonstrating on a PLC5 program. I'm going to launch RSLogix 5. create a new project itself called Skynet and I can choose any PLC processor I want doesn't really matter same thing applies so if you double click on the status here you will see that there's a first pass and the status address is s colon 1 slash 15 it doesn't matter what kind of processor I choose So I go to status here, you will see under the main tab, first pass as colon one five no, right? So how do you use this? Let me show you how to use this. I'm gonna move this away so I can see me toggling it. When you want to initialize a tag, you use this. So I'm gonna normally when I initialize I create a move 22 and I'm gonna put it to n7 here which is n7 colon 0 so this is just a memory space that uh, you can use so you can see there's no syntax error for that so every time this letter is this rung is executed they move that but what if you only want to do it when there's power loss or when the key switch move from run to program and back so the way to do it is to use this first pass so you put a shunt here and you call put s colon one slash one five and hit enter you see this is part of the plc5 system memory space it's already been allocated right so when so now when when i run this what happens is that uh, this will only get executed when there's power loss or when the switch key switch get changed in state so you can see no no means it is not energized yet let me prove to you so right click this guy go to data table and then if you toggle this guy here you can see this thing goes to that. So if you want to go back to your original structure, you go change radix structure. You can see that. Another way to toggle would be this way, and you go toggle. You can see this thing changing. So this toggling is only for testing. Anyway, so uh, that's how you do in RS Logics 5 for PLC5. Next, I'm going to demonstrate for uh, MicroLogix PLCs. For that, I'll be using RSLogix 500. This will be similar uh, memory space or allocation status bit as the uh, RSLogix 5. I'm going to create a new project. So it, again, it doesn't matter which, which PLC I choose. I'm just going to choose one here. And you can see if you double click status bit here, you can see that the first pass is S1 slash 15. Again, similar setup as PLC5. So I'm just gonna make a bit of space here. How do you use this? Same, uh, same way to use it. So you put a shunt here. So I'm gonna move a value, a static value to my uh, integer status here, integer memory space here, because they call it n7 colon 0. Make sure they are working. No errors. Then you put your first pass shunt s colon 1 slash 15. Check the lead logic and there you go. That's how you use it. Same thing here. You can toggle this bit. Oops. You can't really toggle from here. Either you can toggle from here itself and see this thing changing. Or you can go to the data table here and toggle it from here. And the way to go back to your structure would be right click on that flag there. 
you see how this is saying first pass this is a systematic systemic value right uh, sorry memory space that status so right click here go change radix to structured and you're back at it again for the logix processor uh, there's two different software i'll be demonstrating one of them is rs logix 5000 uh, that pertains to any cpu with a firmware uh, up to version 20 but version 21 and above will be using studio 5000 i'll be demonstrating both here so let's start with rs logix 5000 create a new project so our, this RS logics covers uh, control logics, guard logics, compact logics, uh, soft logics, and everything, right? So it doesn't matter what I choose; uh, they are all the same. Uh, same uh, first scan flag that I'll be using. So I'm just going to choose use the very first one here, control logics. Select the version that I want to use. Give it a name. Hit OK. Let's demonstrate on the main routine itself. So let's say I want to do the same thing. I want to move 22 into, into a new tag set point. And I'm going to create this tag called dint. See, there's no errors. So when I run this program, what happens is that uh, it will continuously write 22 into this tag here. But what if you only want to write 22 onto this tag? If there's power failure or power loss, or when you switch your key into different mode from run program, you know, the way to do that would be to put a shunt here. RS Logix 5 and 500, which is PLC5 and Micrologix respectively, they use a status tag called S colon 1 slash 15. But for all the Logix processor, they use flag. The name is S colon FS and hit enter. Make sure everything's okay. So it's working fine. If you put your cursor over it, you can actually see that S colon FS is your first scan bit, right? So once you load the program, this will only get run when there's power loss or when the key switch changes there. So the next one I'm going to demonstrate would be for uh, PLC uh, with revision 21 and above, which is Studio 5000. So again, all the logics processors are here. So this time around, I'm going to use a compact logics. I'm going to use this guy here. I'll give it a name. Finish. This is Logic Designer of Studio 5000. Same thing. Go to the main routine. So here, I'm going to add a move block again. Same thing. Put a static number on the tag call set point underscore x y net and i'm going to create a new tag call that as a d int create whenever this uh, run get executed 45 will continuously get inserted into this tag here but to prevent that, uh, if you only want 45 to be returned to this tag here on power loss or when there's a change in uh, key switch, how you do it is you add a shunt here again. And this will be the same uh, status flag as the RS Logix 5000. It's going to be S colon first scan. If you hit enter and if you put your cursor over it, it will say that this first scan bit It's not something that I created. It's, uh, comes as a program standard and once you compile it and run it this 45 only get written to this one here when there's power loss or when there's changing uh, cpu key there anyway i hope all this tutorial helps have a good day bye